Welcome to the Animators Roundtable Forum on Hong Kong Animation. So the purpose of this conference is to foreground the role of Hong Kong Animation in world cinema. We're especially de delighted to be able to bring together in one forum both creators of animation and scholars of animation. Uh, to me, very important thing is we need to uh, slowly identify the how students think their roles could be in the animation in the future. Some of the technical experiments undertaken by independent animators later became trendsetters for Hong Kong animation more broadly. So welcome to the panel, which is really exciting, and it's called experimental slash abstract animation. I've been very, very uh, excited, and uh, especially to hear all the uh, personal stories, you know, shared by the end of the animation. I think it's wonderful to have uh, people to talk about the history and the future of uh, of animation. For independent films, animations uh, produced after 1995, they have more chance to do so. The most important and this association between Hong Kong movement and Japanese animation reached a peak during these high, highly active days of the social movement. It's thinking about what new roles, social functions, cultural functions, Japanese and Hong Kong animation will play. <laughs> The, the observation around the world. For Commedia di Latte, they offer the opposition and contradiction direction to express uh, the character. I think after pandemic, like working worldwide is a common phenomenon. You know, making experimental work, but at the same time uh, showcasing or, or exploring the, the city and then presenting that back. World. When I make a 3D animation, it's oftentimes uh, in the mindset of a system thinking. In my work, I always like to try to see how I can bridge um, between using very analog techniques and um, maybe very digital. So I want to exhibit computers, and every computer is an artwork, and every computer plays one artwork of mine. The metaphors we are going to build is from you guys together. That's why I'm happy to share this platform with all of you. So when we were making Find Find, we came up with a method that is neither texture mapping nor hand painting, but a hybrid of both. We are always seeking a balance between financial stability and intellectual. I just uh, share with you how a single uh, short story trying to grow into a film project. What what animation can do for an, uh, the NFT, uh, the digital world, the metaverse? The most important is to have a direct producer, uh, someone who can uh, leverage uh, a network and uh, and who can have the right partner uh, to do uh, such uh, exhibition. Very because um, the content of animation, some global of meaning is very important. Why it is so challenging to make a famous Japanese animation title for the international market? Given that all of these like uh, uh, exciting titles are fans all over the world, why? So my takeaway from this is teach people skills for life, not a business cycle. If you're interested in animation, don't worry about having the ability. It is important to hold your artistic value, but also it is important to explore what is new opportunities out there to see how we can play with cutting edge technologies for our young aspiring artists.